taken me to, to work my way into this garage and now a whole shelf came down scared the crud out of the both of us of course these these shelves aren't really designed to carry this kind of weight these are just uh, closet uh, organizer shelves <clears throat> there's even more weight on these ones What was the first thing that went through your mind? I I thought you had fallen over in the <laughs> bedroom and I'm trying to figure out what would make all that noise. <clears throat> and then I started to get up and you were already opening the garage door. And then my the next thing in my mind is what was she doing in the garage? Oh boy. I got my uh, work cut out for me here. You gotta figure out a way to reinforce. It looks like you can see where it pulled right out of the wall up there. So I had just woken up. I was getting dressed, brushing my hair, brushing my teeth and all that, and I heard this loud crash. And I thought Kevin was in the living room watching TV, but the crash came from the garage, so I thought, oh God, he's in the garage working and something fell on top of him. Kevin does not get hurt that way. The last time Kevin got hurt is when he cut his fingers. So I came flying into the garage expecting to find Kevin on the ground with stuff all on top of him. And thank God I did not find him that way, but I found that. And as I was running into the garage, he came in behind me because uh, he thought, of course, I fell and got hurt because which I makes more sense. Her all the time. Well, this is how Boomer's been the last couple of days. He's usually hanging out with us and just all over us and loving on us and looking at our food. But uh, last couple of days, he's been kind of lethargic and tired, and I would have to say a little depressed looking. Yeah, he's got us a little worried. I called the eye doctors today, and the soonest they can get us in is on the 24th. But I did ask them if they have any cancellations to please call us because he just his whole demeanor seems to have changed since we've mm -hmm. taken him to the vet. So there's Boomer. He's looking a little bit happier. He just licked my lips. Well, you stuck your lips out there. What did you think he was going to do? Like my nose. There we go. Look at the nose. Look at the glasses. I think he's upset with you. Why would he be upset with me? I don't know. Well, I did hold him while the doctor poked him in the eye. Are you mad at Daddy? We have to move the table so he doesn't try and jump. Oh. All right, Boomy. I thought you were mad at me. Huh? Here. Ha. Is it recording? Yes. How are you okay. doing, buddy? How are you doing? You feeling okay? Got a little food left over in that beard? Yeah, I guess from last night too. <laughs> or maybe he's just cleaning you. Sure. <laughs> Looks like he just took a little bite. <laughs> I don't think he's mad at you anymore. Boom. everybody. We just got finished watching a movie called A Haunting at Silver Falls. 
it was a pretty good ghost story. So if you guys like ghost stories, I'd say go check it out. It was on uh, Amazon or Netflix, I'm not sure. And Kevin just ran to the store because I needed a few things to cook dinner for tonight and for tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow night is St. Patty's Day, so of course I'm doing corned beef and cabbage. Yum. I love hey, corned beef and cabbage. Hey, sweetie. What you doing? Nothing right now. No. How's your, your garage? Mess. You're going to be able to save those shelves? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody, and happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone out there. I hope you all have your green on, because if not, you're going to get pinched. Oh. I got my green on. Where are they? Right there. So, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. I don't have that many, so. Uh, let's start off again with Jessica C.T. Still needs to get to 50 subs by March 20th so she can drink the Tabasco sauce. And yes, Jessica, you're going to sing right after you drink it. Talk to <laughs> Right, that one. Your father and I may be evil, but we are on the same page with that one. Next shout out, Katie Caroline. She needs some more subs, so everybody go by her channel. Give her thumbs up. Subscribe. Show her some love. Katie Caroline. Rex25059. He's doing okay so far. Just a scratch and drops. He's got to go to the eye doctors yet to see if there's any permanent damage or any surgeries or anything like that that's going to be needed. But still keeping him in our thoughts and prayers that he's going to be a-okay. And it is Rex, R-E-X, 25, Rex 25059, 25059. I have to say it fast or I can't remember it. Okay, and again, another shout out, Mom's Vlogs 80. All you new guys, go check out her channel. Check out their story. Family, one son's autistic, second son is fighting neuroblastoma cancer. So go over, show them some support, make a donation, buy a shirt. If you can't do that, at least subscribe, give them thumbs up, leave comments, um, help them out that way. Okay, Josephine Vega, welcome to the neighborhood. It's just my life. Welcome back to the neighborhood. She had subscribed a while ago, but YouTube has this weird thing that's going on just to let everybody out there know and be aware of it. It is unsubscribing people for some reason automatically. So if you find you're unsubscribed or that we've unsubscribed to you, please let us know because we don't unsubscribe from people and YouTube has been doing it to a lot of people. So keep checking your subscriptions. Pyro Nation! Welcome to the neighborhood. And I also wanted to say that we were unable to check everybody's comments today due to YouTube having another glitch, unfortunately. So if I did not respond to you as of yet, please be patient. Um, I might not get to it tonight, but I will answer. You know, I always like to answer everybody's comments. I will get to you. Um, my question yesterday was, what is your favorite past or present TV series? And, of course, we got a lot of Walking Deads out there. Yay! Um, what is your favorite? Uh, it's probably Walking Dead right now. Yeah? A anything in the past? No, not, 
Not really. I've never been a, a, a faithful fan of a TV show until I met you. <laughs> I have a few. Of course, right now, it is The Walking Dead. And when that show goes off the air, they're going to have to have some sort of uh, group therapy meetings or something for people that are addicted to The Walking Dead because I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to go nuts without my Walking Dead. A um, couple of my other favorites is The Big Bang Theory. I loved that 70s show, Friends. Megan and I could recite probably almost every episode of Friends to you guys. Um, ask Kevin. I mean, <laughs> we would go on trips and drives places and Megan would say something and I'm saying, oh, that's episode that of Friends. And uh, Phoebe said that. <laughs> and so, yeah, those are some of my favorites. My question tonight is, what have you dressed up as? What was the, the, the worst thing you ever dressed up as? For Halloween or a masquerade party, and what was the best thing you ever dressed up for for a Halloween or a masquerade party? Leave your answers below. It is time for neighborhood community credit roll. Okay, it was sort of a uh, trick question I asked yesterday. Uh, movie was The Descent 2005 about five women who went spelunking into a cave. Spelunking? Spelunking. Is that what it's called, really? Yep. And uh, they get chased by critters inside the cave. And I asked what uh, cave system did they use, and they made the whole thing up. Uh, the entire thing was filmed on a studio uh, set in Pinewood Studios in England. And those who got that right was number one, Terry Johnson, number two, YouTube Guy, 1985, number three, Greg Myers, and number four, Bambi S. All right, and uh, because since it's St. Patty's Day, I'm going to have to have a leprechaun uh, uh, question. Uh, the um, obvious ones, uh, I think uh, Jennifer Aniston was her first feature film. From Friends! And, um, but... There were seven movies made in this franchise, but only one of them was actually supposed to be on St. Patty's Day. Which one was it? That's your question for tonight, guys. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. Make sure you go by and watch Nibbling with the Neighbors this week. It's going to be corned beef and cabbage. Check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, P.I.N., Megan's Arts and Crafts. Megan's got a new Society 6 store of all her artwork, so go check all that out, guys. Shameless plug. Yeah, shameless plug. I can't help it. She's my daughter. I'm very proud of her. She's an amazing artist and she's selling stuff, so yay! Go by and check it out. Purchase something if you can and if you like it. Yay! We will see you guys. Oh, I didn't do my heart, did I? <laughs> I didn't do my heart. Good morning. <laughs> Love you all so much, guys. We'll see you all tomorrow. Happy St. Patrick's Day!